Welcome back, everyone, to Tower Mono. Um, we're gonna continue the story. Uh, it's still a few more uh, visual novel interactions, I believe. Uh, because if I remember correctly, the first fight. No, the first fight should be fairly close by, so we might be able to get into the real, well, not real gameplay, but the action gameplay, I suppose. So let's let's move on. Okay, so square or field? Let's go square first. Huh? Is that... Oh! Arudo is sitting against a tree, dozing off. That girl, why does she run away as soon as she sees my face? I thought she hated me at first, but Eruru answers me that isn't true. But if she doesn't, then why does she keep running away like that? Finally! With her sleeping like this, I might be able to approach her. Quietly, without making a sound. Oh! Huh? The moment I leave my foot to step forward, Eruru's ear perk up. She's very perceptive. In that case, I need to be even quieter. Quietly, don't breathe, eliminate the faintest trace. I'm so close. I could reach out and touch her. Aruru looks so peaceful, the way her heart is bubbling up and down. Good, she still hasn't noticed me. Her face looks so cute when she's sleeping. She looks so innocent. Seeing her here like this is very calming. Her sleeping face may have entranced, entranced me. Before I know it, I'm patting her on the head. Oh! Oh! Damn, I didn't mean to. Ah! Uh, huh? Did she really not notice what I just did? Let's try it again. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> oh, pat pat. <laughs> it seems she doesn't mind this. In that case, this try this time I try combing my fingers through her hair. Quietly, quietly, gently. Oh, she likes it! Aruru makes the sweetest little sound and then angles her hair, her head as, as, as if she's asking for more. Her happiness is obvious. Although she's half asleep, this girl is asking me to pamper her and I'm happy with that. Shush! Huh? Shush! Her tail is... Oh, that's her tail! Wagging. It's really wagging, ah! It's wagging in my face, ah, ah! Achoo! Oh! What? Oh! Whoops! Whoopsie! <laughs> oh well! Guess it's no use after all, huh? Stare! Menacingly! She's staring at me from a uh, hiding place. Hey, come over here! And there she goes. Man, I screwed up. Hey, it was a it was a good try. Okay, um Yeah, living room. Oh, hello. Hmm. She ran away after all. Ah. Ah, that was uh okay. Field. All right, let's begin. Ready and I lift the hoe and bring it down with immense force. The ground is incredibly tough to to dig into. Ugh. Ow! 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 
This isn't good. My body still hurts uh, whenever I do anything strenuous. But compared to before when I couldn't move at all, as long as I take enough breaks, I should be able to exert myself a little. Oh! My back! Uh, I mean, I feel bad not doing anything. Ugh. But I hate seeing around while everyone else is working. Okay, fair enough. So, that's a very interesting concept because I think that also applies in real life. The hardest thing for someone that's, uh, like, for example, if someone asked for your help, the hardest thing for that person is to do nothing, right? Because they feel bad, but sometimes that's the right choice because, you know, sometimes you get in the way of the other person. Ugh. No, you need to dig deeper. Try clearing as many rocks as you can and break up the hard dirt. Uh, no, 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 it doesn't. Maybe elsewhere, but you'll have to make the soil here more hospitable or your crops won't grow. If you just plant it like this, it will probably start whittling as soon as it sprouts out of the ground. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Well... Teoro, bro. Huh? Yeah. Man, they are making even the kids work? Damn. I mean... Uh, to be fair, like this is a feudal society and they are very strained on people and resources. So I guess they have no choice but to make uh, probably kids from 7 years or older uh, start working on the fields as well. Man, even the old people. Hmm. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry, it's because of what I said that all of this is happening. Okay. Oh. Thanks, everyone. So I guess we are trying to repay the the village for helping us. Let's see how that goes. Oh. Are you going somewhere? Okay. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sure. Me? Yeah. We pleasure. I don't really mind, but where are we going? ふ、ふ、ふ。場所なら you know, at first, I didn't notice that if she was like a human like me, like a regular human, I mean. But uh, she, ha I can, you can see on the on her left ear that she has a uh, uh, like a fur ear. Huh? 
行ってきます行ってきます行ってきます分かっとると思うがくれぐれも奥へ行かんようになはーいうん、大丈夫As we head out, Eruru grabs a basket containing a sickle and a hoe and slings it on her back. It's a fairly large basket, which appears to have been woven from some sort of ivy. Want me to carry that? Okay. If you say so. So, where are we going? Oh, okay. Medicinal herbs. Iko, Adelu? We leave the village and slowly walk down a path lined with rocks. After about an hour, the slope levels out and we are surrounded by greenery. Gigantic trees suddenly tower above us. Uh, this vast forest at the base of the mountain is simply breathtaking. Huh? Standing with their hands collapsing prior in front of a structure made of branches. What's going on? Eruru? It's fine, but what were you doing? Uh, is that the god of the forest? Yanaun Kami? Okay. Kami, huh? So, is that like a shrine or something? Okay. Why not? Mutikapa. Mutikapa. Oh. <laughs> While saying that, Eruru raises both of her hands and makes a gesture like a monster's jaw chopping. For her to go to such lengths, I'm guessing she's serious. Huh. <laughs> oh, I, I know, <laughs> sorry. I see, so this world has that kind of legend surrounding it. Really? That's scary. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. No, that was actually really interesting. No, it's fine. It was very enlightening. So, according to the rumors... Huh? But what about the rumors? Mm. Wait, Eru... According to the rumors... What was she going to say? Yeah, I'm curious too.
Is it really okay to enter such a dangerous forest? Also guys, enjoy this this song. It's so good. Aruru smiles at Aruru, and Aruru bashfully smiles back. They beam with innocence of blooming flowers. Oh, this is the first time I've seen her smile like that. Oh. Okay. Uh, they are gathering herbs in that area. By the way, what should I do? To be brought all the way here just to be ignored kind of sucks, but. Eruru, can you come here for a minute? Hi. Um, is there anything I can help with? I'm just wondering what I should do. There you go, again, that's the guilt uh, syndrome uh, in this case, because you're here doing nothing while everyone is working, so you, you, people start to feel guilty. Even though I am supposed to be like a guard, like a bodyguard, I mean. And with that, Eruru returns to gathering herbs. No matter what she says, just sitting around here while two girls are working... While humming a catchy tune, Eruru puts her face close to the ground and blocks budding sprouts one by one. Are those also medicinal herbs? Wow, I see. What about that red leaf? Damn! Wow! You really know a lot! <laughs> a healer's granddaughter will naturally learn the craft, huh? She may be young, but she'll be an expert healer someday. Still, we got red, blue, and even striped. Medicinal herbs should come in a variety of weird shapes and colors. Maybe that means I should just look for a strange looking plant. Uh oh. Um, this one looks strange enough, right? Eruru, what about this one? This one here. I hand the jacket leaf a plant I just picked over to Eruru. <laughs> oh, uh, I see. A weed? In that case... Oh, what about this one? It's glittering. Seven colored stripe patterns makes it seems like an obvious choice. Yeah, um, the more vibrant colors probably poisonous. Uh, oh, um, this one's a winner, right? Yeah. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, then... Uh, how about this one? Oh boy! <laughs> what? Oh god damn it! I'm burdening them now. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, in the end, I only got in their way. Ugh.
Something from above. Oh, all the way up there. Ah, I see. Up in that tree. That's dangerous. Why is she climbing way up there? Don't tell me. She's trying to collect food from up there. Oh, you greedy girl. <laughs> Damn, she is really angry. <laughs> Waving hands. Eruru waves her hands and raises her voice. Uh, er Eruru? Oh. oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, screenshot! Oh, she got all the way up there for a single apple? Damn, that's brave, girl! Okay, we got what we came for, so let her come down at her own pace. If we rush her, she could lose her footing, make it uh, even more dangerous. <laughs> oh, she gets scared once she's like, uh oh, look at me, I'm f <laughs> oh, leaving the consequences of my own actions. Oh no. What? Which means. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Ah, she's starting to panic because she can't get down. You're right. She's pretty high up, but not unreachable. I will go get her. Aruru, you wait here. Ah, it's gonna be fine. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Wait, I'm only this high up? If I climb much higher. She's still much higher. She climbed really high for such a little girl. Ooh. Uh, uh, just a little higher. <laughs> hey, wait, why is she trying to get away? Why are you moving away? Why are you running? <laughs> Come on, take my hand. Let's get down together. W what's wrong? Come here. It's no good, she's wary of me and won't come closer. This is the worst time for her to be wary, what should I do? Hey, come on. Damn, this isn't good, my joints are starting to hurt. I can't stay up here for long. Come on, now, it's okay, there's no need to be scared. Oh, I know, I'll give you some of my side dishes tonight. Yeah, bribe her with food. This feels oddly similar to coxing a small animal. <laughs> tremble, tremble. Yes, that's right. Keep coming closer. Yes, good girl. Come here. Just a little more. That's it. Let's go together. Ow. Oh no, she got scared. Wait, wait. Damn it. I scared her and she went even higher. Ugh, I've 
almost reached my limit. I'm not making any progress like this. It's coming to the point where I might have to just grab her. And if I miss, I will be hitting the ground head first. Uh-oh. Well, maybe I can try calling for her one more time. Aruru, come on, let's go home. There's nothing to be scared of. Smile sweetly, sweetly. See, nothing to be scared of. Sweetly, sweetly. Ah, it's really starting to hurt. Sweetly. Come on. Don't be afraid. Where are you? Huh? Wait, Aruru, that branch is too thin. Just as I was about to yell that out, the branch snapped beneath Aruru's weight. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh. I extend my hand and grab the falling Aruru by the nape of the neck. With all my strength, I manage to pull her in. Woo! Oh, the pain! It feels as if needles are stabbing me over my entire body. At this point, I may not be able to continue breathing. My vision blurs and I feel faint, but somehow, I am able to endure it. Just like that. Hang on to my back. Hurry. Good girl. Alright. Hang on tight. Like that. Ugh. It's completely dark. Hey. Edudu, what about letting it go? Aww. After that, we made it down safely, but we weren't out of the woods yet. Eruru was actually waiting for us at the base of the tree. Because we worried her, she gave us a severe scolding. Why are you scolding me? I just saved your sister! To make matter worse, she got so worked up that she became incoherent and started crying. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, no. And that just made us feel even worse. We didn't know what to do. This really sucks. <laughs> Uh, well, at least she's safe now, right? Uh oh. Okay, uh, maybe we should get back home. I bet Tusker is starting to worry about us. Uh. Oh, she fell asleep. God damn it! Yeah. Ah, I was wondering why she was being so quiet. I carried her on my back the entire trip back. No wonder she fell asleep. No, it's okay. Since she's sleeping so soundly, I would rather not wake her up. Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's cool. Eh? Daddy? Huh? Wait, wait a minute. She said, Daddy, does that mean I look old enough to be her father? Eruru, <laughs> 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 come on! I'm not that old! <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze! Okay, well done. Damn, we are making it's a bit of uh, slow progress, but I promise you, and this is basically uh, the, the game trying to get us attached to these people, especially to Aruru, Tusker, and Aruru. So we are like we are bonding. Like right now, we are trying to uh, help Aruru and bond, uh, try to get the trust of Aruru. So let's see how that goes. But anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for today, and I hope you guys enjoy, uh, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!